We're at Shark, which is my new restaurant in the Palms Hotel and Resort in Las Vegas. And I'm gonna show you how to make the grilled lobster with a red chili, garlic, and fresh basil butter. We actually steam the lobster about three quarters of the way. So it's not quite cooked completely, probably has a couple more minutes left of cooking. And what that does is it, it cooks the meat so it's nice and firm, but it also kind of relaxes it. If you just put it on the grill raw, what happens is the meat just kind of seizes up and then it gets tough. So we have a, a, a lobster here that, as you can see, I kind of split in the middle. This is what he looked like before I cut him, and obviously it's steamed, so now he's red. And then what we do is we just cut it right down the middle and we split it. So, you, so we're actually showing the flesh of the lobster. So the claws are, are cracked a little bit, like this, and then the, we, we expose the meat. And then I just take a little bit of oil, and then season it with salt and pepper. No matter what you're cooking, you have to season the food with salt and pepper always. I'm gonna get my grill on. We're gonna put the lobster down on the shell side down first. To me, lobsters on the grill, there's nothing better. What I like to do is take classics that people recognize and then just put like a little bit of a twist on it. We have a butter with, um, with, with red chilies, some fresh garlic, and then I'm gonna, I'm gonna toss some fresh basil in there as well. Take our lobster and then we're gonna very gently just flip the lobster to the flesh side. The idea is to get like a little bit of smokiness um, you know, into the lobster meat itself. And of course we have to let it finish cooking. Because remember, we steamed it about three quarters of the way and we want to cook it that last quarter on the grill. Like if you're having a dinner party for six or eight people, you know, you can steam the lobster ahead of time, split them, and then when your guests come over, turn on the grill and then just finish the lobsters. It just takes a few minutes. Okay. And that's what you want to see. You can see like, the grill just kind of finished the, um, finished the cooking of the lobster. And you want to cook it really gently. You don't want like crazy high heat where it's just the whole lobster becomes inflamed or engulfed in flames because it will just ruin the flavor of it. We don't want that. We just want to gently grill the lobster, let it finish cooking the sweet meat of the lobster, and then you're good to go. So then I have the, the split lobster. Now, if you want to, you could just serve it this way, but I want to make it easier for the, uh, for the guests to eat it. So I'm gonna cut into a few different pieces. First, I'm gonna cut off the tail. Then I'm gonna separate the body from the, uh, from the claws. It's all about the presentation. And then this is the butter with the uh, chilies, garlic, and fresh basil. And then a little flourish, some more fresh basil at the very end. Here's the thing about it, like you get the sweetness of the lobster, you get the smokiness of the grill, and then you get a little bit of uh, a heat, and then of course, you know, garlic and butter, I mean, what's better than that? And then the fresh basil just brightens it up. All right, good morning, America. This is all for you.